what is up youtube it's your girl stormy Anna, and i'm back at it again with another video so in today's video i'm gonna do a review sa derm plus spf 130 and derm plus spf 80 so i'm gonna tell you the differences that i noticed sa paggamit ng dalawang products na to so if you want to know if which one is the best or which one is more you know which one is more solid for your money so just keep on watching so i have the items here sa watson pouch and that is because they are always out of stock sa mga department stores and watsons and i don't know why and maybe because uh, high in demand talaga itong derm plus na mga sunblock that is why always silang out of stock sa mga department stores or watsons so ayorn so mabibili nyo po pala itong derm plus sa any department stores sa inyong mga mall or sa mga watsons i don't know lang if sa mga drug stores if meron kasi nagtatanong tanong ako if meron usually ang sagot sa akin wala silang derm plus na sunblock so maybe hindi siya available sa mga drug stores so anywho i have discovered this derm plus spf 80 no ako po ay gumamit ng isang rejuvenating set na hindi ko papangalanan <laughs> at nasunog ang aking muka so ito po ang ginamit ko para bumalik sa normal like magpantay yung skin na naburn sa aking face sa the rest of my face so I yarn so if you have burned skin if hindi pantay yung skin mo dahil sa mga chemical peeling churvaness na nilagay mo sa iyong face try this Derm Plus SPF 80 muna so after I have finished this SPF 80 bumili naman ako ng SPF 130 why? of course mas high ito SPF nito and that means mas mapoprotektahan niyo yung ating skin from the harmful races and turbaness all over us. So yes! So ayun! Price wise, it's only 450 plus siguro. Ito, 450 plus and ito naman is 470 plus. So ayun. So mga 20 pesos or 50 pesos na ang differences between these two and yes, they are a little bit pricey para sa mga sunblock but they are all worth it kasi they do their job right. And plus, it's also moisturizing. So, if na-burn yung skin nyo dahil sa mga chemicals na nilagay nyo sa inyong skin, kindly click on the video above para magkaroon kayo ng idea paano solusyonan yung inyong problems based on my experience so magsa-start na tayo so ito yung packaging ng Derm Plus 130 it comes with like dark brown olive na pagka brown na packaging and ang SPF 80 is itong light green lime green na packaging. So, ayan. Meron namang naka-indicate siya na 80 and of course, 130. So, ayan. Itong Derm Plus Moisturizing Sunscreen is for face and body. So, paraben-free, water-resistant, and dermatologist tested. So, perfect itong sunblock if ever gusto nyong like mag jogging or running sa labas and of course swimming so ayan perfect itong derm plus kasi waterproof siya or water resistant so sa likod naman is pareho lang din yung mga nakalagay and ayan um i-read natin yung mga nakalagay sa likod okay Number one, provides maximum protection for damaging effects of prolonged and repeated exposure to the sun. So, ang pinakamataas pala na SPF ng Derm Plus is 130. And ang pinakamababa is, I think, SPF 30. And meron din silang mga um, sunscreen or sunblock for kids. So, meron din, ano, Derm Plus for kids. So, if you want your kids to be protected also without harming their skin, so, available din ang Derm Plus for kids. 
Okay, number two, blocks the harmful effects of sun-emitted UVA and UVB rays. So, may nabasa ko dati na hindi lang sa sun natin na encounter yung UVA or UVB sa mga uh, light emitted ng ating mga gadgets. That is why kahit na dito lang ako sa bahay, nagsa-sunblock pa rin ako because uh, always akong nakatutok sa aking desktop. So, if you don't know, I have been working from home and that is why always akong nakaharap sa laptop or sa gadgets and all of my transactions are online. Kaya, always my gadget na nakaharap sa aking mukha. That is why I always use this Derm Plus na sunblock kasi gusto kong maprotect yung aking skin from all the harmful UVs. Okay? <laughs> so, ayun. Okay, number three. Ideal for long hours of outdoor and water activities. So, ayun, if active kayo sa mga sports and water activities or may mga outings kayo, but gusto nyo pa rin maprotektahan yung inyong skin, so use this Derm Plus SPF 130 for maximum protection. Okay, next one. To use, apply generously before sun exposure. Apply at frequent intervals, especially after swimming, towel drying, sweating, and prolonged sun exposure. Okay, caution. For external use only, avoid contact with the eyes. If skin irritation or rash develops, discontinue use. Do not stay long under the sun even while using sunscreen product. Store at room temperature not exceeding 30 degrees Celsius. So, hindi siya pwedeng ilagay sa ref. So, room temperature lang, 30 degrees Celsius. So, ayun, kahit na naka-sunblock kayo guys, huwag kayong magbabad sa araw. Kasi, kahit na mataas yung sunblock natin, meron pa rin yan silang limitations. So, huwag nyong abusuhin. Like, overconfident kayo na naka-sunblock na kayo. So, mag, ano na kayo, tambay na kayo sa mga sa sun. So, ayun. I recommend na mga 15 minutes lang ang pinakalong or 10 minutes lang pinakalong nyo na magstay under the sun without, you know, umbrella or shade para i-protect yung inyong skin. So, ayun. Next, sun alert. Repeated sun exposure contributes to premature skin aging. So, ayun. Alam nyo na, if you look 60 years old pero 30 years old pa lang naman kayo, that is because siguro always kayong naka-expose sa sun. And disclaimer lang, I have nothing against sa mga taong exposed sa sun and hindi naka-sun block. Okay? Maraming mga trolls online na ginagawa na ng issue sa mga pinagsasabi ko dito online but yes, I have nothing against them okay? So, ang sinasabi ko lang dito, if you want to protect your skin and if you want your skin to look a little bit younger than your age so, a yarn, one way lang to prevent skin aging is always use sun black okay? Next, regular use of sunscreen is one way to reduce skin damage, probability of skin cancer, and other harmful effects caused by the sun. So, looking at the ingredients, they are a little bit different from each other. And maybe because that's why iba yung SPF nila. So, first thing na na-notice ko between these two are this one is a little bit moisturizing than this one. So, ayun. Nung unang gamit ko ng SPF 130, ayun talaga ang na-notice ko. It was not so moisturizing sa skin. So, itong SPF 80 is mas more siya na moisturizing sa skin like if nilagay mo siya mas naglalather siya sa skin and after mong malagay parang mas stretchy yung skin mo and nung nilagay ko naman to mas ano siya mas thick yung consistency nitong SPF 130 kaysa dito sa SPF 130 ito namang SPF 130 is more like Okay lang siya. Moisturizing din naman siya. Pero not as much as this one. So, ang ginawa ko para ma-achieve ko pa rin yung moisturizing effect na gusto ko. Naglagay muna ako ng aloe vera gel bago ko ilagay ito. So, ayun. Ang kagandahan lang din dito na SPF 130 is ayun nga, mas protective siya sa ating skin mas ma-protect nga yung ating skin from the harmful races of the sun and of course ano din siya, meron din siyang like 
whitening effect right after mo siyang nilagay para ka nang nag foundation pero yung foundation mo is like natural skin mo lang alam mo yung parang ano one shade lighter than your natural skin yun lang din ang nagustuhan ko sa Derm Plus na mga moisturizing sunscreen is para ka rin nag ano nag lotion but your skin becomes a little bit whiter right after mong nilagay ito so meron siyang white cast na effect sa iyong skin and ewan ko lang if darker skin tone ka if magko color gray or like hindi natural looking yung pagka white ng skin mo because i have tried one lotion before nung medyo dark pa yung skin ko and white, may whitening effect siya. Pero yung pagka-white na aking skin is hindi siya natural looking. Like parang grayish white yung bas ng moisturizing ng lotion na iyon. So, ayun. If you have darker skin tone, so ayun, i-consider nyo din yun if okay ba itong Derm Plus sunscreen sa inyo kasi meron siyang white cast that would potentially not look natural sa iyong skin kapag nag sunblock ka nag ganito. So, ayarn! Ayun lang naman ang na-notice ko sa uh, SPF 80 and SPF 130 na sunblock. So, a little bit review on this sunblock is pretty siya sa face and body. So, ayun nga guys, pwede nyo siyang ilagay sa inyong face and body, but for me, I don't use it puro-puro sa aking body, kasi nga, may kamahalan siya, and ganito lang kalaki yung kanyang quantity sa loob. So, what I use from the rest of my body is this Abonina lotion, 3 times collagen with UV protection din siya. So, what I do is maglo-lotion ako ng ganito sa lahat ng aking katawan all over my body. And, lalagyan ko siya ng ganito, like um, maliit na quantity lang pea size and i-rub ko siya between my palms and saka ko siya lotion sa aking body. So, ayun. That is my lotion routine. <laughs> so, ayun ang ginagawa ko sa aking skin care. So, ang Derm Plus ay marerecommend ko talaga sa lahat. Dahil I have experience na na-damage yung aking skin sa isang rejuvenating set. But, for me, na tulungan ng Derm Plus, maka-recover yung aking skin, maging back to normal siya. And, everyday ko na talagang ginagamit ang Derm Plus sa face ko right after mag-toner. So, naglalagay ako ng Derm Plus. And, good thing lang kasi may moisturizing na din siya. So, if wala kayong moisturizing cream or aloe vera gel or turvanes na pang moisturize, pwede nyo na lang siyang ilagay sa inyong face ng puro-puro. So, ayun. Maganda lang din siya, guys, kasi meron siyang white cast nga. And parang nag-foundation na lang din kayo. And especially kapag, kunyari, nag-workout kayo or medyo pawisin kayo, doon nyo talaga ma-appreciate yung kanyang effect. Kasi parang nag-glow yung skin nyo. Aside from protecting your skin, it makes your skin a little bit, you know, lighter and plumpier and more healthy looking. So, ayun lang. I think that is all for this video. So, if you like this video, please comment down below. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much. Bye!